Okay, well, I'm doing this in which to show uh, sh uh, show you guys um, how to make a matte painting using Final Cut Pro and uh, Photoshop and Motion and Soundtrack Pro. All right, and uh, this is also on my assumption that you guys know how to use the basic tools of these programs. Okay, this is really not that hard. All right. Basically, uh, a matte painting is used in which to force your audience to believe uh, that you are somewhere that you're not, or an object, or something. Okay, Hollywood has been doing this for years. But they use glass and a painting, and they paint actually on the glass, and they put it in front of the camera. Uh, Star Wars and uh, Indiana Jones all have all, all used that. Many have. So, I basically went outside and, as we're going to see here, filmed myself. And I made sure my head did not go over this line, okay? Because I've already gone and picked out a photo of, of the Antarctic, and basically this is, is going to be in the corner, okay? So, I basically went out and did that, and we basically dropped this in, into our timeline. Now, i got to bring in this photo or, or this shot into Photoshop. So basically click and highlight that section that this is under, which this little X should pop up if you're doing it right. And you go under export, under file, export, use QuickTime conversion. Okay, down here it says format Click on that once and go down to still image, okay? And then under save as, name it, and then underneath that is uh, where you're going to save it, into what folder, okay? Once we do that, and we go into Photoshop, make sure that this is NTSC DV 7, uh, uh, 720 by 480, okay? And use your guidelines. They're there for a reason, all right? Uh, the first one here is for titles, and the second one here is for action. All right, so you kind of need to know what your audience is going to see. All right, so basically, this is the photo that I brought in, okay? And this is what we are going to uh, put into the uh, corner. Right now, this is actually in front of the picture, but what we're going to do is by going to edit... Go down to transform and go to scale. What, what we can do is we can actually scale this down by grabbing the corner and shrinking this all the way down, okay? And that is basically what I've done. Um, and then you want to take this and actually put it behind this photo. So, we take this and we bring this underneath, okay? And this is how it should look once it's all arranged. Now, and then we use the eraser tool. And what you're going to do is you're going to set the opacity of the eraser tool to 24. And you're going to slowly erase around the body. Okay? Now, I know that my head pretty much doesn't go any higher than this. And I know that there's at least that much between me and the tree line. Okay? So slowly erase around, okay, uh, the immediate body. Then um, put it to 100% and fully bring out your uh, full body, okay, right there. Then bring the opacity back down to 24% and start moving just around that edge, okay. And what's going to happen is you're going to wind up with this kind of... Uh, of a space and you want to feather the edge all right once it's feathered you're then going to use your eyedropper and then click on a space then use your brush tool okay uh, size 20 and full feather and what you're going to do is you're going to slowly, oh, with the opacity on like 20%, here, slowly blend 
in the white. Take your white and blend it out into the uh, photo so it blends in. Okay, this is the hardest part, okay, in which to do a really good blending job, all right? But once we have that, all right, and it's at the space that you want it, make sure that when you click away that there's no white background, okay? Most, play, most programs default you a white background. Get rid of it, all right? Then just delete your picture. So all that is left okay is your photo okay we then go to export uh, uh, save all right and save it into the same folder that you'll be using go back to Final Cut okay so once we're here then bring down the full piece from 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 your browser grab click down okay then go file import file find your psd which we just did click okay and bring it in and then bring it down now mine is actually set to, to, to 10 seconds so i just stacked two on top of each other and this is my full 20 seconds now you're gonna have to size your image okay which is this Okay, so once, you're, once you've highlighted your raw footage, the wireframe will come up. Grab a corner, shrink it down, okay? All right, so, okay. And which to add in the uh, motion e effect, uh, I'll give you guys a very quick uh, bit here. All right, you wanna start with a new, new project. Uh, make sure that it's NTSC broadcast. Hit okay. All right. Hit library up here. Come down here to particle emitters. All right. And we're going to be using smoke. Okay. Now, um, what you want to do into Final Cut is to uh, actually uh, make the movie that we just did with uh, the background and our, our little movement down there. Okay. So we're basically going to import. Okay, uh, this, okay? And as you can see, here's, here's, what, here's what we just did into Final Cut, all right? Now, we just wanna add one simple effect, okay? So, I'm gonna use the effect Rising Smoke, okay? And need to make sure that your piece is at, at the beginning, okay? Hit apply, and there it is, all right? And then I'm gonna stretch it to the full, full length. Now, all by itself, the smoke is just gonna rise up, all right? Well, over here, behaviors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the top, hit behaviors, okay? And I'm gonna hit simulations. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a wind and gravity okay and I'm gonna turn up the wind to full nice good air thickness and then turn up the gravity alright and this is gonna make make the snow or this move in that direction and that's what we want alright so after we have this simply Ex, um, export and put it into your file and our final uh, a result with a wind effect and a noise uh, from a radio you know garble talk from uh, soundtrack pro we we finally get this paintings. It's really easy. Just got to practice. So uh, I, I hope this helped out. Thank you.